Hey guys, in case you were wondering, where do we go and what do we do when we use up all of the equipment inside of our ambulance? Check this out. So here's a quick tour of a paramedic and EMT restock room out of a hospital. This is our ambulance restock room for a couple of ambulances and we turn out of a hospital. Usually the turnout or ambulances turn out of a station when you work for the fire department and volunteers but when you turn out of a hospital you have a similar setup to this and what I see here as an experienced paramedic is an extremely restocked attention to detail and pleasant restock room why because everything's labeled everything's segregated you have your BLS stuff and fluids basically fluids here intubation supplies IV supplies so you could say that this is an ALS cabinet pretty much without with the exception of the irrigation here you have your BLS cabinet notice how everything is nice and segregated and here we are all the gloves all together and the funny thing is that my furniture and my stuff at home is set up similar to this this is how much of an influence on how pleasant it is to see everything organized check that out and then here we have a mini fridge our computer batteries charging we have our portable O2 main O2 thermometer we have more supplies in here and here we have medications more IV stuff tubes nice and neat nice and stocked so whenever we get a call and we run out of, out of all of our equipment we come in here and restock while we're here let me mention that when you're on the bus you work out of your bus not the bags so for example if you're on the ambulance and you have to give somebody oxygen you do not take a non rebreather from your oxygen bag you take it from the ambulance for a couple reasons one is because the bag is the one you're going to be taking to someone's apartment so you would hate to be the person who used up all the non rebreathers in your bag and now that you're into somebody's house, away from your ambulance, away from your restock room, you cannot administer oxygen because, I mean, you should be on top of your bags and not letting it run dry. But what I'm trying to say is, when you're on the ambulance and it's time to use supplies, use the supplies in the cabinets first. And then work out of your bag. That way, you don't have to visit this as often. Alright guys, I hope this helps. Peace.